Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do the unboxing of Nibble and Rest products. I'm really excited to open these. So I've seen this uh, fridge magnet that I've really, really wanted to buy for a long time, but I wasn't sure if I should or not. And I'm so glad that, that I did. Uh, but when I was shopping on their website, I, I picked up some other things. So let's have a look. So the package came in this beautiful box and you open it up and there's like a nice message at the top and this was the fridge magnet and it has like baby's first foods so if you have a look there are some fruits like uh, vegetables and there are like a common allergens there and it comes with a black and red pen that you can attach to the magnet that comes with the fridge magnet and um, this container is actually empty at the moment because I'm already using the baby first baby uh, first foods fridge magnet tracker so I was debating whether I needed this or not because I could you know print something out from Google and then I could check it off technically but um I just thought that I'll just get a nice um erasable fridge magnet just so that I can make sure that I'm giving Aria all the um like a variety enough variety of foods because if I was just giving her stuff that we had in the fridge then she'll be <laughs> pretty much eating the same thing like three or four items like every day um, so I thought it was a really good purchase and I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I was really sad about was that, um, so this comes with like a red and black marker that you can write on the fridge magnet and then erase with, but the black one was dried up. So I think it was just like a defective pen. Um, so I was a bit sad about it, but, um, other than that, really happy with it. So that's the first one. And of course, that was my main goal of shopping. But of course, when you're looking at their website, they have other products that you are interested in. So this is a child safe knife by Kitty Cutter. And it comes in different colors. And um, it says that it cuts food and not fingers. And I thought it would be fun as Arya grows up um, for her to just like play around with prepping foods. So it comes in a variety of colors. Um, I just chose a blue one because I kind of look like the look of it. But let's have a look. So it's like a pretty, it's like obviously smaller size than um, regular butter knife or anything like that. But it's like a pretty decent size and very easy to hold. There's a bit of a silicon here. This part is like, I think it's plastic. And this feels a bit like more metally. And um, yeah, it's like not sharp at all. And e e yeah, if I <laughs> go like this, it doesn't cut me at all. There's a bit like a bit of a thickness. It's like quite dull. So, but I guess like it's, um you know, sleek enough that you can cut like simple foods that are not too hard. I would assume that it would be hard to cut like a carrot with. It would be... Um, very hard but like you know on this um, container like the child is cutting I would assume it's a cucumber yeah it's a cucumber or like um, I don't know like a mashed potato not mashed potato like a, you know steamed carrots or anything soft I think you can um, cut with it so I think it will be a really like fun addition to the kitchen And here we have the silicon suction bowl, and the part I liked was suction. So this bowl is like a pretty decent size. If you had like some puree or even like soup or um, anything that you can, you know, contain. It's um nicely concave so things don't like fall out when the kids are playing with their hands or um cutleries. 
and at the bottom there is suction. I don't know how strong the suction will be, but it's just like the extra protection from a, a child or just knocking it with their hand and then it falling off and tipping all the food. And of course, baby feeding is very messy. So there's the silicon bib. Aria has um, this uh, wearable bib at the moment, but I got this as a bundle with these other products. And I chose pink for this one. And I don't know. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this is the front. There's like this cute squirrel. And let me just try clicking this thing. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. So everything is made of silicon, so that's quite nice. And it'll be interesting to compare um, which is neither the wearable bib or um, the silicon bib with this uh, dish in the front. So I'm really excited to try it. And yeah, I'll chuck this in the dishwasher tonight and then I might try using it tomorrow. And let's have a look at this one. Spoon and fork. These are very easy to grab. It's all silicon. It's quite flexible. The fork, like nothing dangerous or sharp there. And it goes nicely with the bowl. So I bought the gray ones for the bowl um, spoon and fork set and also this another silicon suction plate because I thought gray is just a bit more neutral. I was debating whether I should get pink to match with the bib or um, get grey. They also have blue, but I decided to get grey. And I like it. Um, at the moment, Aria has another um, suction plate, but it'll be interesting to compare how the one that I already have um, compares to the suction strength of this one. And um, this one's a, a bit interesting, and I like how the um, this plate has a bit of a weight, so I think it'll be a bit more stable than the other one I have, which is a bit more light and a little more flimsy so um yeah this like middle structure and the sides are quite sturdy so i quite like that it's not losing its structure um when i hold it with one hand and i think um yeah i i'm actually quite happy with um the these um feeding containers because um they have a weight to it so i think that adds that much of a stability because as you know baby feeding is really messy I don't know what it is, but like Arya just like to likes to bring everything to the edge, and then of, of course like knock it off the high chair table. And last one, this one's also matching in gray color, and I am a little sad <laughs> because um, I realized the other Hakka one that I bought is also gray, so now I have two. So I will just have a look to see. Oh, wait. That's crazy. So I must have bought pink in this. And then this container has the gray in the box. And the Hakka one that I bought, I chose gray. And then the container had pink in the front. So if you saw my other video, 
<laughs> then you'll see. So I'm really happy that it all worked out actually. So because I have one pink and one gray now. So compared to the Hakka one, this one's a lot smaller, but it's a bit lighter, I feel. And the difference is that here there's like that extra, I guess, protection for the drinking. And of course there's that uh, little slit. And um, yeah, the feel is quite different. And I think they will have good use for their own right. And it has like that measurement, um, 250 mil. So I guess it goes up to maybe 275 mil. So there's like the sippy cup part. And I don't know how the, oh, oh, I see. The straw attaches like this. So it's quite cute. So I think what I'll do is I might start Aria on this because it's a bit smaller and lighter and um, as she gets bigger and once she can drink a lot more I might swap her to the Hakka one and of course there is that lid for snacks yeah so I'm really happy with the pink I kind of wish I could have got a uh, pink in the other one as well but um, for Hakka one pink was sold out but yeah, I'm really glad that I have one pink and one gray and not two grays. So those are the nipple and rest products that I have bought. And um, I appreciated all the products coming in this like nice box. And really excited to use their products. And I'll let you know how I like them. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.